All right, everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video with Fat Phil. And today I want to talk about the Naboo raid and the fact that it's been two weeks since Meathead came out and said, hey, we're investigating these lower tiers and the difficulty. And since then, nothing has happened. We haven't gotten an update. We haven't even gotten further communication on whether or not the tiers are staying the same or that difficulty is changing. And that is a big problem for a lot of players who are stuck in this place where they're not earning as much Mark III as they used to. But then on top of that as well, it kind of ties up your resources on should you be further investing in this raid because they aren't going to change it or should you be holding off because they are? And then you've got Ahsoka looming over your heads. You've got Balin Skull. You've got everything else kind of looming over your head here that you can't make a good decision on your resources while this communication is not brought out to us, right? So we're going to talk a little bit about this and just kind of give you guys that platform to vent a little bit because it is ridiculous. So please like and subscribe, comment down below, let me know your thoughts. Let's give a shout out to our channel members again for continuing to show their support. So uh, let's pull those up. Thank you guys again. If you're ever interested, that link's down below, along with the link to the Discord server. If you're ever wondering, like, what do these guys get outside of just the shout outs, they've got their own section of the Discord. And whenever they do need a roster review or advice, I am right there, always willing to help. So thank you guys again for continuing to keep the faith and making this community as awesome as it is. Let's get into our video. All right, guys, so we're talking about that raid and the Naboo raid. It has been over two weeks now. It is, I, I pulled it up. I, I actually was very curious. I was like, hey, man, I wonder, you know, like what the, uh, you know, I wonder like how long it's been and everything. And so when we go over to our screen capture here and you look, this was the investigation into the earlier tiers and this was 15 days ago. So it has been a long time. And the thing is, when this first came out, my initial thought was they were probably already, maybe already investigating this and they're just making it known that they're looking into it. I'm beginning to think that they didn't start until they did this, which is insane to me because it was very obvious from the start that the lower tiers were significantly harder. And this poses that big problem for a lot of players because you don't know where to invest your resources that right now, it almost makes more sense to try and build a team to Relic 5 or Relic 7, like a single team, rather than trying to build a bunch of teams to gear 12 or to you know relic one or even relic three because those difficulties are just kind of not in the place they should be causing a lot of guilds to miss out on mark three raid currency that they were earning before um now let's be very clear just about something that before i just jump in and say oh yeah rah, 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 punches away I do want you guys all to think back, and I know for some of you, you weren't here for it, but when the Challenge Pit Raid first launched and Relic 8 materials were brought into the game, most of the guilds were not able to complete that raid. Same thing with the Sith Triumvirate Raid. Most guilds were not able to complete that raid. Even the Crate Dragon Raid, most guilds were not earning good rewards at first. Speeder Bike Raid, in my opinion, was the most free-to-play friendly raid of all time. The wrecks were way too easy, and I feel like it should have been staring them in the face. This one kind of goes back to where the Crate Dragon Raid difficulty was. The end game guild's not really having a problem, but those other ones have an adjustment period. So I do at least want to make that case, right? But if you're coming out and saying, hey, we're looking into these lower tiers and we're trying to figure out, you know, whether difficulty's too hard or not. In 15 days, you should have plenty of data. You think for most guilds, that's two raids. And for some, it's probably three raids that you could have data from. So you could at least come out and say, hey guys, the difficulty is too hard. We're going to be adjusting it. More news on that later to come, but you know, we're going to change that. And that would at least let you know as a player, hey guys, you know what? I'm going to build some gear 12 teams, but I'm sure there's a lot of people who are kind of stuck in this position where I don't feel like leveling up these characters. Like why would I go and build, you know, these battle for Naboo characters when I don't know if it's better to invest more into one team or more into a bunch of teams to, you know, the same result. So I, I do not really like this at all. And I honestly, the thing that like pisses me off about it is how quickly I've seen them come around and patch things that were negatives for them in the game. And by negatives for them, think about when um, Tide Defender was first released and it was just destroying everything everything and they're like hey we got to tone this thing back it's it's overperforming or how quickly they were able to turn you know some of these things like sith eternal i still remember back when sith eternal was first um or when jedi master kenobi was first released 
and Sith Eternal and how quickly they were able to patch Jedi Master Kenobi to make sure that he was the creme de la creme of the game. And so, like, I'm struggling to defend them at this point when it's very obvious that there's something wrong and that the only reason you're not acting is to quote R.H. Sean from my Discord is, if there was money to be made, it would have been fixed yesterday. And I think that is the big thing to learn here is that I think they 100% started with those top level difficulty tiers and then just kind of, you know, work down. And that's a big problem because the most of the player base, the, the issue is the players who spend money are going to be competing in these tiers, right? More than likely they're competing in these tiers, the players who spend money. And then, but the vast majority of the players are going to be in these tiers, so you have this all right the money's here but the majority of people are here and i always say you've got to think of this game like the ocean right that if you're somebody who's spending money you need those little fish if there's no little fish you can't eat right you know with whales if there's no krill or plankton you're not eating right you're gonna go hungry you're gonna die or you're one of those sharks you know that has the little fish that swims underneath it Without that little fish, that bacteria is going to grow and kill you. And if you're that little fish, you need that shark to protect you, right? You need that shark to protect you or else other predators are going to come for you. So everything is needed together. You need to keep these earlier tiers, like they need to be getting just as much love as these later tiers. And I, I unfortunately think this was a prime example of them really missing it. And this goes also into the whole uh, Jar Jar tier. Jar Jar tier one Right, and I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna make a Jar Jar guide yet. I probably have to do something here, but tier one was bugged, right? And this event even is still bugged in the sense that Droidicas and some of the later tiers can delete a character, particularly Phalanx. They can delete your Phalanx even while the shield generator is up, which is impossible outside of this event. Um, but one of the things that was happening is the shield generator was only spawning with 10 stacks rather than 20, which basically makes this event, I don't want to say impossible because I beat it with the 10, makes it a lot harder, makes it RNG dependent rather than a one-time completion here. So that was another thing that, hey, they fixed it, but they fixed that within a day. Now you could say, oh, that was a simple fix. But again, it was one that was going to cost them money because people weren't leveling up Jar Jar, people weren't unlocking him. So, you know, when you think through it like that, that they were able to fix it that quickly tells me that they could probably be fixing the difficulty of these tiers. And that the reason they aren't is that the longer they go without increasing these tiers, the more likely you are to either spend money or just make those upgrades anyway. So you stop missing out on rewards. And I want to just kind of take this time to give a shout out to my guild one for continuing to do really well, but two, um, the one thing that my guild has implemented now is a week of a casual raid and a week of a try hard raid. So I don't know if you guys can hear my dog like freaking out in the background right now, but we're in between the 265 million crate and the 416 million crate. So what we're doing is that we're going to have one raid be super try hard where we're going to go ahead and see how many points we can score. And then we'll take a week off where, all right, you know what? Hey, we fell you know, a hundred million short to our goal. So, all right, we still have a lot of work to do. That's not going to get solved in a week. So we're going to go easy. We're still going to earn the 265 million crate, but we're not going to expect you to score your max. Hey, next raid, we're going hard. We got within, you know, 70 million. And so we can see that progress, but we don't need to be burning ourselves out every single raid if we know that we can easily get 265 million. So I do want to give a shout out to my guild for that. I thought it was a really good idea. And like I scored 9 million points. I didn't really try that hard. I didn't remod my um, Keller and Beck team. I didn't remod the um, Luminara team either. I just, I moved the Luminara team to the Relic 3 tier, scored 900,000 points, and I moved on. You know, um, I did max score my Queen Amidala team because I was trying to do that. But like, I didn't feel the pressure to have to remod everybody super crazily. I only did a little bit of stuff that I felt like I wanted to do. Um, but I do want to give a shout and I would actually recommend that for other guilds as well that if you're kind of in between these two you're going for 265 and you're scoring like a buck 50 go to a casual raid where okay guys just get to 130 million and then we can move on with life 
you know i think that's a really good idea and i think for a lot of guilds that will save you that burnout feeling you're going to get from these raids because we still have months and months and months of this raid coming so again i think it is perfectly okay to scream at capital games and say what the heck is going on with these lower tiers because it has been over two weeks that they've been looking into it so when are we going to get that fixed when are they going to get more communication i think we are we're more within our well within our right now to scream at them and say hey you know we gave you some time what's going on and that's I, you know sometimes i get you know hated for defending capital games i try to toe that line of yes there needs to be criticism but we also have to give them time to do their job but i think two weeks is a bit too long to either have zero communication that they are or aren't going to fix it because if you are going to fix it okay fine you need to view the code and figure out how to make each tier you know mesh that's okay but at least tell us that's happening so players can start gearing stuff up because otherwise you've got all these things looming over our heads that's coming that oh well why would i invest in the raid when ahsoka's coming or balin or do i even just go for luthan like there's there's a lot of stuff and if you're not giving us that hey here's the focus you know it's gonna force players to make decisions that are potentially damaging to their account so that's the end of the video guys let me know your thoughts i love you all may the force be with you and i'll see you in the next one cheers my friends